Hello, everyone. Welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Ryan Murphy, and I'm here. I, I never do videos by myself, and I definitely don't ever do trailer reactions. It's just not my thing. I'm not a big watcher or doer of trailer reactions. And I'm here with my crappy camera, my crappy uh, microphone on my new computer that I haven't gotten stuff hooked up yet. But it's worth it because today I am doing my trailer reaction for Star Trek Picard Season 3 Trailer 5. Now, I... Oh, there's a reason I'm doing this special because this is so special to me. Uh, James and Josh and I just did our uh, our end of the year um, uh, video on what we're most hyped for in 2023. And this was my number one. I uh, think you have to uh, understand about me and Star Trek The Next Generation is that it's literally my age. It came out in 1987, um, you know, uh, two months before I was born. So it's as old as I am. I've grown with it. Um, and, uh, you know, in 2002, when Nemesis happened, you know, I, I didn't, you know, I, I wondered, I've never thought I, I never, I've never definitively thought I wouldn't see these characters again, all together again. Um, but um, actually, a few many years ago, maybe 15 years ago, I was actually at a convention and I asked Brent Spiner to his face. Do you think we'll ever see these characters together again? Of course, Data is not coming back. Brent Spiner is, but Data is not. But do you think we'll ever see the Next Generation cast together again? And uh, and he looked at me and he said, "I think we're done." Um, I'm sure he's as happy as I am that he was that that he was wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a big thing. That being said, I actually didn't finish Star Trek: Picard season two and watch the first four trailers until the wee hours of this morning. Um, but when I did. I I caught the uh the um the, the hope I'm not spoiling anything for the other trailers. If you haven't watched them, go watch them. But when the Moriarty reveal came up, I I was I was doing the things that you do in a trailer reaction. I was doing this out loud. <gasps> you know, so I just that's when I decided I have to do a live trailer reaction for this. Uh and since it is, you know, my trailer reaction, you have to sit here and listen to my thoughts for another minute or two. Oh, sorry, I'll get it out of the way as fast as I can. My thoughts on Star Trek Picard seasons one and two. Uh, I know they've gotten a lot of flack. I know people, a lot of people don't like them. I actually really pretty kind of like season one. Uh, season two, um, the biggest problem with both seasons, I'm sorry to say, and maybe this is being an unpopular opinion, I don't know, but um, I'm not, the character of Rafi for me is just so irritating. I'm sure the actress is a wonderful person, very nice person. The character is just, a complete thorn in my side. So I'm not looking forward to seeing her in this season, but uh, season season two was where it really went off the rails for me uh, because more than anything, I felt it was just such an anemic uh, conclusion, if it is that, to the whole Borg saga. Um, I guess that's it for the Borg. I, I don't know, like, but from 1989 to now, um you know they've been sort of the big bad of star wars and certainly the, certainly the big bad in picard's life and for that to be kind of for them to be kind of a side hustle in a q story and kind of make peace with the it, it just didn't do it for me and in a better world in a be, in a world where the showrunners had made wiser decisions i feel like that's what this season would have been season three next generation cast comes together for one final confrontation with the board that's what I would have done. And in fact, that's my main issue so far with this. What, what I've seen of this season is I'm looking at this villain played by uh, Amanda Plummer, great actress. Um, uh, and I'm just not sure what to make of her. And she doesn't seem that enticing from what little we've seen. Um, and I'm not sure why they're going with this villain, but we haven't seen it yet. That's the whole point. But we're going to watch another trailer now. There you go. My two cents out of the way. Um, you can, I'll shut up now and we'll watch the damn trailer. Uh, here we go. Star Trek Picard season three, trailer five. Admiral on the bridge uh, and captain on the bridge. You will probably find this inspection boring for the likes of you two. Boring? Well, we won't be blowing things up. Taking or engaging in fire, crash landing expectedly or unexpectedly those were the days there is something coming battle stations some kind of attack and starfleet could be the target there's a darkness an all-consuming darkness and it is getting stronger john luke trust Luke 
enjoying this of course not are you that no the the thing that got me in the last trailer that really i didn't mention this but the thing that really got me was the um the uh conference table seeing them at the conference table that oh man that was like oh honey um yeah uh that that i'm you know i don't want to say i'm disappointed but that's the fifth trailer fifth trailer like we've that we've seen what they're going to show us you know, it didn't didn't have anything mind explodey. Uh, the Moriarty reveal. I wish I had recorded that. But um, no, I mean, I'm really curious to see where this goes. Almost seems like Jordy has a chip on his shoulder about Picard. Um, but I do kind of consider this the next generation season eight. Uh, and uh, so uh, I just I now the thing is they keep saying the final voyage begins. The final, you know, they always say it's the final voyage. They always say that. And in this day and age, in 2023, you cannot say that. You never know until someone's in the ground. Okay. Um, yes, um uh, you know, uh Patrick Stewart's in his 80s. Uh, so there's that. Um, but uh, honestly, I, I wouldn't put past Shatner to come back. You, you just never know. I mean, look at all the legacy sequels we've gotten these days, you know, after 36 years, after 40 years, Alan Burstein's coming back for Exorcist, 50 years, you know, like you never say never, you never say never. not in 2023. That's the lesson we've learned from the 2000 teens and, tw and 20s. Um, but, uh, but I, 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 whether this is the last go around or not, it's, I, you know, it, after 30, 35, almost 36 years of the next generation, to see them still going is really cool. And people, people uh, say like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I don't, I didn't like the last two seasons. There's uh, Doug Drexler, who's I, I follow on Facebook. He's a big Star Trek uh, uh, design guy for years and years. Um, and he's talking, he did, he did this and he's, he's talking about how, oh, if you didn't like the first few seasons, don't worry, this is different. This is different. It's a whole new ball game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm extremely looking forward to it. This trailer didn't really give me anything new to say. Sorry if I disappointed anyone who thought, uh, but, uh, but, uh, it's, I uh, looking forward to it. Star Trek, the next generation season eight coming February 16th. Can I get here soon enough? Thanks guys. Oh, by the way, keep, thank you for keeping it real with real time. <laughs> 